You know, while you weigh in, let's get to Jason Whiteley live at the border. Uh, what, what were the big takeaways? Well, Cynthia and Chris, you know, after every debate, both sides say that their candidate won. What was interesting almost immediately, as soon as this began at 7 o'clock, 7.01 or so, was Governor Abbott's performance here. Listen, I've covered him for a long time. Abbott is always measured. He is controlled. Tonight, though, out of the gate, he seemed rattled. He spoke fast. He started attacking President Biden and then shifted off to Beto O'Rourke, who, of course, is his opponent in the fall election. O'Rourke, on the other hand, seemed to stay on message message for most of the night. They, they, they covered a bunch of topics, Chris, as you mentioned there too, including school safety and the Uvalde massacre. Here's one exchange. I want every parent out there to know that the lives of your children are more important to me than the NRA or any special interest or any other political consideration. I will prioritize them ahead of everything else and we will take action and we will make progress. We'll bring Republicans, Democrats, <coughs> independents alike together and we'll get the job done where this governor has failed to do so. Beto's campaign continues to spew uh, lies and false information. He said two things that are completely false. He said that we're, we're last in mental health care. The fact of the matter is Texas is now 27th in mental health care because of funding that I provided. Texas has provided more than $25 billion for mental health care in the last three sessions. He also said that we did not fund police radios in Uvalde. Completely false. We provided $1.6 million for Uvalde alone for their police radio systems. The debate here happening about 20 miles or so from the international border with Mexico. Immigration and border security, of course, top of mind for folks who live in this part of the state. And Abbott accused O'Rourke of being for open borders, and that led to this response. No, no one is for open borders, uh, not the least of us who, who actually live on the borders. Th this is the kind of stunt right, I wanna, that I you wanna, get from Greg wanna, Abbott. We I, need solutions right now. I want to go to a follow-up for you, Governor Abbott, sure. and it's on the busing question. These migrants are being sent to states and cities with Democratic leadership. Why aren't these migrants being sent to so-called sanctuary cities in Republican-led states like New Orleans or, or Metro Atlanta? You have 30 seconds. So, again, because these cities of New York and Washington, D.C. and Chicago are so large and have the infrastructure that is available, they have the capability of accommodating the number of migrants that are being sent better than these other cities that you talked about. Uh, there will be other cities in the future that also will be on the receiving end of migrants because we will continue to have to move migrants because Joe Biden continues to allow more illegal immigrants to come into the state of Texas. Governor Abbott breaking some news. They're saying there will be other cities on the receiving end of migrants. He did not say which cities those were, of course, but uh, you can expect that will continue to happen over the next month or so until the election day actually happens. You know, one Republican texted me tonight after the debate saying, you know, there was no memorable moment. There was no gotcha moment in there. And he's right about that. If you watch the debate, we didn't see any big gotcha moment. But because of that, this Republican uh, said that it's a draw, and any draw in a debate goes to uh, goes to Abbott, and there's only one debate that happened tonight. O'Rourke's team told me tonight they are very pleased with his performance and expect and expect to really uh, catapult off this for the remaining days before the election. At the end of the day, the, the question that we've asked our viewers here: Does this change your mind? It's doubtful this will change mind. We'll find out what they said here in just a moment. Uh, polls might tell us they changed mind. The one, of course, tonight uh, will too. But 39 days until the election, that's the ultimate decision. Cynthia, back to you.